Okay, here we are sa examples ng uh, pita tubes, problems. Okay, so we have the example number one. So, sabi, a glass tube with 90 degree bend is open at both ends. So, it is inserted into a flowing stream of oil. Specific gravity is equal to 0.90 so that one of the opening is directed upstream and the other is directed upward. So, if the oil inside a tube is 60 millimeters higher than the surface outside, determine the velocity measured by the tube. Okay, so we have to uh, see the figure muna para mas maintindihan natin. So, here is the figure. So, the stream is open to atmosphere, that's uh, why ang pressure natin at point 1 is neglected na, right? Hindi natin alam kung ano yung height na to, yung depth ng pagkakalubog ng pito tube, pero we are sure na negligible na yan, kasi hindi naman yung ilulublub ng sobrang lublub yung pito tube, eh. okay? So, yun. Tapos alam natin, 50 millimeters to. Okay. Oh, well, actually, judging from the figure, hindi ni neglect yung pressure doon sa may point 0.1. Right? Ano ba sabi? Yan lang naman ang sabi. Ayun. 90 degree bend. This is the tube. Open at both ends. So, binilagay sa stream. Specific gravity is 0.90. So, yan. If the oil is inside, 50 mm higher than the surface outside. Okay. So, yun lang. Ito lang. Okay na tayo sa figure na yan. Pwede na natin yung sabi yung velocity ng stream. Okay? So, yun tayo sa whiteboard. Okay. So, yun yung figure natin. And we are trying to calculate for the velocity doon sa stream. Okay. So, let's say this is point 0.1. Okay. Siyempre, may velocity siya dyan. Oops. Tapos, hindi neglected yung velocity niya eh. Ay, yung pressure niya eh. Kasi, eh, ano. This is our, let's say this is uh, y, okay? So, kanyang pressure dyan is y times gamma. Tama? Gamma h, eh. Gamma times y. Okay? So, kung consider naman natin yung point 0.2, well, actually, pwede ito na lang consider mo yung sa may, ano, dyan, that point. Let's say that's our point 0.2. Okay? Huwag na dun sa stagnation point. Okay tayo dyan sa may point Doon sa may taas. So, ang pressure dyan is of course 0. Tama? Ang velocity is equal to also 0 kasi hindi na gumagalaw yan eh. Ang kanyang elevation head, <coughs> excuse me, if this is our datum line, syempre ang elevation head na itong point 0.1 is 0. Okay? Ang elevation head naman nung point 0.2 is uh, gamma, ah, sorry, y pala, y, plus uh, 50, let's say, point na ito na lang, point 0.0, Five. Kasi parang nakameter tayo. Para standard. Okay. Then, pwede tayong gumawa ng Bernoulli's energy equation from point 0.1 to point 0.2. Tama ba? Energy at point 0.1 is equal to energy at point 0.2. Pressure head at point 0.1 is... Pressure dun sa point 0.1 is gamma times y. Okay? Over gamma. So, that's already y. Plus... Uh, velocity head sa point 0.1 is V1 squared over 2 d Okay? Elevation head is equal to 0. So, sa point 0.2 naman, pressure head is... Um, wala, 0. Then, velocity head is also 0. Tapos, elevation head is Y plus 0 0.05. Okay? So, yan na. Actually, magkakancelan lang to. Itong y, tsaka y, cancel. Kaya, ibig sabihin, parang na-ignore din yung y. Okay? So, pagka ganyan pala, if you are solving problems na nasa open stream, if you are going to neglect this y, then ang kahalangan palang kunin ang water levels, itong 50. Okay? Pero, syempre, it, um, it is very useful to know the uh, full concept behind. So, okay. So, this one gets cancelled. Kasi, y na lang to, eh. Tama ba? Tapos, ito, y na lang din. So, yan, cancel. So, you have V1 squared over 2G equals 0 0.0. Ayun na. Tapos na yung problem. Then, pindutin na lang natin yan sa calc -U. So, that's, lipat mo itong 2G sa kabila. 2G times 0 0.05, that's squared both sides. So, that's square root of 2G. Wait. 
time 0.05 Copy that Oops Ayun na So ang sagot natin is 0.99 meters per second Okay Pero meron tayong tinatawag minsan na uh, tawag dyan C sub D O ito yung efficiency ng tube Okay So syempre Kung ano bawa Let's say C sub D is um, Let's say 0.89 Okay Halimbawa lang Ito yung theoretical Velocity Pero If you want the actual Kailangan mo siyang i-multiply sa Ayan Sa C sub D O dun sa uh, Coefficient ng tube If there is one given Okay Kadalasan ang given yan, C sub D is equal to 1. So, ganun din. So, if our tube coefficient is 0.89, edi ang ating action velocity is 0.88. 0.88 meters per second. Ganun lang kadali. Okay, mga mga baka pag kami nakita kayong tube coefficient o coefficient of the pito tube. Okay? So, yan. If you want to try, edi try mo mag Bernoulli's energy equation from this point, velocity point 1, to dito sa may point na to, sa may stagnation point. So, tira mo kung paano may iba equation mo. At paano darating ka rin dapat sa same answer. Okay? So, let's proceed doon sa next example. So, example number 2, we have air as our fluid. Ginagay yung uh, specific weight, 12 newtons per cubic meter. O nga pala, baka malimutan nyo, o baka minsan kasi walang binibigay na unit weight ang uh, Ayan. Ayan yung unit weight ng air. 12 newtons per cubic meter. Flowing through a system shown if... What? Oil. Ah, okay. If oil specific gravity is 0.827, shows a deflection of 80 millimeters, calculate the discharge or flow rate. Okay? Neglect losses. So, let's see the figure. So, ayan. We have a pit tube na hindi open sa atmosphere. It is like a differential manometer, pero yung dulo niya is facing the stream, kaya papasok dyan yung tubig. So, papapansin nyo na yung pito tube, hindi lang siya yung isang tube na, uh, tawag dyan, na open sa atmosphere, yung isang end, yung isang ay open doon, nakaharap doon sa stream. So, it can always also be a uh, tube, na nakaharap, basta siya, nakaharap siya dun sa main stream, pito tube na yan. Okay? It can be used in combination with the, with the differential manometer katulad ng example natin dito. Okay? So, i-explain natin ulit yung problem. So, air is flowing from left to right. Okay? And without even saying that the uh, stream is flowing from left to right, masasabi mo naman na left to right talaga eh, kasi tinan mo, the uh, left leg of the manometer ay mas mababa. Ibig sabihin, point 1 is pushing the um, oil harder than point 2. Tama? So, ayan. Actually, kahit hindi banggitin kung ano yung direction of flow, obserbahan mo lang yung manometer. Kung ano yung mas malakas yung tulak, di mo lamang, dun galing yung flow. Okay? Pero, sir, di ba obvious kasi dun nakaharap yung ano eh, yung pito tube eh. Um... Actually, hindi naman laging nakaharap sa stream yung pito tube. May times din na pwede natin paglaruan yung pito tube. Pwede natin italikod doon sa stream. Ganito. Uh, break more tayo dyan sa problem. Explain natin kung ano mangyayari kapag yung pito tube ay nakaharap o nakatalikod o nakatagilid doon sa stream. Doon tayo sa whiteboard. Sandala. Okay. So, let's say ito yung stream. Okay. And... Ito yung pito tube. Let's say yung uh, tube ay na ganito. Ay, yung stream ay pag ng flow from left to right. Okay. So, kung yan yung pito tube natin, ano mong iyari tingin nyo dun sa water level? Will it rise? Or will it uh, drop? Ang mangyari ay drop. Okay? Kasi the uh, stream is going to that direction. Ibig sabihin, yung tubig doon sa may pito tube ay nahihigop. Okay? Kaya, mas mababa yung level ng tubig dito sa pito tube kesa dun sa free water surface o dun sa level ng stream. 
Okay? Yan yung mangyayari kapag... Uh, pero huwag kang mag-alam na dyan kasi pwede mo pa rin gamitin yan ng Bernoulli's energy equation. Let's say this is the stagnation point ulit. And this is the uh, free point at the stream. Pwede ka pa rin mag-BEE dyan. And pwede mo pa rin ma-confirm na bababa nga yung level ng tubig na ito. Okay? So, kapag ka naman... Ayan, pag ka alam yung nakaharap na o nakaharap yung uh, tube doon sa stream, syempre, ah, okay, chat, kasi... The uh, stream is pushing the uh, fluid inside the pitot tube harder. Okay? Kapag ka naman yung uh, pitot tube ay nakatagilid, 90 degrees, at siya nakaganyan, wala. Parang magka-function siya as ano lang, as piezometer. Baba, ito ay uh, piezometer. Ito ay tunay na piezometer na walang degree, 90 degree bend. Okay? Tapos, yung mawa, yung tubig hanggang ganito lang. Hanggang ganyan lang. Yung tubig. Pagdating doon sa may piso o doon sa may uh, pitot tube na naka 90 degrees. So parehas lang sila. Para mag-act lang yung pitot tube mo as uh, tawag diyan as manometer o as piezometer. Pagka naka 90 degrees, okay? Para sa kapag gagawin ito. Naka ayun oh, naka let's say kung top view ito yung stream, naka ganyan siya. May angle, okay? We will not go into that kind of problem. Kasi iba na ang magiging consideration dyan. Okay? Pagka, kasi, depende yan eh, kung may pumapasok ba, o kung naapektuhan, kung yung tube ay naapektuhan ng velocity ng stream, pito tube ang consideration natin dyan. Tulad na ito. Siyempre, kapag ka nakatalikod, naihigyo. Okay? Pagka nakaharap, natutulak. Pagka nakat, nakatagilid, naka 90 degrees, at yung stream, ito yung flow ng stream, top yan eh. Tapos ito yung pito tube mo, naka ganyan. Walang pakialam dun sa... Uh, velocity ng stream. Eh di, ano lang siya. Ang mararamdaman niya lang is yung pressure head pero not the velocity. Okay? So, hindi natin siya consider as uh, functioning as pitot tube. Okay? So, anyway, so, ganun ang effect ng pitot tube at different orientations. So, ito namang pitot tube natin dito sa problem yung nakaharap doon sa stream. Eh, sinasalubo niya yung stream. So, nag-act yan as parang normal na pitot tube din. Okay? So, Let's try. Ano nga ulit ang hinaharap doon sa problem? Ang sabi, discharge ata. Okay? So, it means we have to determine the velocity either at this point 1 or at this point 2. Kasi alam natin yung area dyan, parehas. So, knowing the velocity at either points will give us the discharge. Okay? Mukhang lahat naman ng given ay na andyan. Ayun. Pinagigay din yung uh, unit weight. Andyan din. Tapos yung uh, SG ng oil. Andyan din. Okay? So, let's try to solve. Siyempre, gagawin mo naman na simula dyan. Eh di, ano ka agad? BE ka agad. Ama? Kasi yun naman ang pinaka-weapon natin sa ganyang problem eh. Bernoulli's energy equation. Okay. So, yan yung ating figure. Na eh di, Bernoulli's energy equation na kaagad siguro tayo. Okay. So, B From point 1 to point 2. <coughs> Okay. Point 1 is the stagnation point. Okay? So, velocity natin dyan is equal to zero. Okay. So, velocity or pressure head sa point 1, definitely not zero. Okay? Tapos, uh, tawag dyan, velocity sa point 1 is, of course, zero. Okay? Uh, let's not consider the elevation head kasi parehas naman sila ng elevation. Okay? Pressure at point 2, definitely not zero. Velocity at point 2, mukhang ito yung ko natin, yung velocity sa point 2. Multiply na lang natin sa ano, 50 millimeters. So, ayan. Uh, <clears throat> 50 milli uh, velocity dyan is not zero. Okay? So, let's see kung anong kaya natin gawin. Uh, this is what we are solving for. So, we hope to solve P sub 2 and P sub 1 muna. Pero as you know, na, na, na discuss natin sa uh, dyan, sa problem last time o doon sa uh, venturi meter that kapag ka nakakita ka ng uh, differential manometer, it does not give you the absolute value of P sub 1 nor P sub 2. Right? But you can get the difference between them. So kapag ka nilipat mo doon sa kabila, P sub 1, 
over gamma minus p sub 2 over gamma then we have v sub 2 squared over 2g which this is what we are trying to solve yung velocity para makompute natin yung discharge so ito ang hahanapin natin okay p sub 1 minus p sub 2 which we can we can solve that using this differential manometer okay so so again differential manometer okay so magsimula tayo sa point 1 t sub 1 over gamma okay dun sa may stagnation point tapos bababa tayo so that's a plus okay wait gano kataas yung binaba natin dyan so that is hindi natin alam to eh y. So, eh, this is y. Tapos, syempre, air ito eh. Nagsimula tayo sa air eh. Tama? P sub 1, tapos, nag bumaba, tayo, bumaba tayo ng y, so that's plus. Okay? Tapos, bumaba pa tayo ulit, that's another plus, ng 0 0.08. Pero ang fluid doon is air pa rin. So, you don't have to uh, write any multiplier muna. Okay? Okay, na, andito tayo. Pwede ka na lumipat sa kabila. Okay? So, plus, plus, pagating dito, lipat sa kabila. We are now here at this point. Okay? Aakyat na tayo ngayon. So, that's minus. Okay? Minus 0 0.08. 80 millimeters yan na, pero I'm trying to write everything in meters para hindi na tayo mag-convert, convert na maya. Okay? So, 0 0.08. Pero this is oil. Okay? So, anong gagawin mo dyan? Ang gagawin mo, multiply mo siya doon sa uh, unit weight or specific gravity netong fluid dito, yung current fluid. Okay? So, that's times 0 0.827 Okay? Divided by the specific gravity of the original fluid. Pero wala tayo specific gravity dun eh. Ang meron tayo is yung unit weight. Actually, pwede naman na 0 0.08 times density ng uh, oil divided by density ng air. Pwede yan. Basta gagawin mo, yung nasa taas is yung oil na iba doon sa fluid, sa fluid sa stream. Yung nasa ilalim is yung original fluid doon sa stream. Okay? So, tandaan mo yun. So, pwedeng density or pwede ring specific gravity or pwede ring unit weight. Kaya ano naman eh, kasi magkakanselan lang din naman yan eh. Basta nasa taas, oil, tapos nasa ilalim is air. Okay? So, mag magkaiba yung meron tayo eh. Sa so, gawin na lang natin, ano, 12 itong nasa ilalim. Tapos ito, 0.827 times 9.81. Para parehas siyang, uh, tawag dyan, para parehas siyang <coughs> uh, unit weight. This is unit weight of oil, this is unit weight of, uh, tawag dyan, unit weight of air. Pero, wait lang, this is newtons per cubic meter. So, this must be also newtons per cubic meter. Tama ba? And this is 9,810 newtons per cubic meter. Okay, hindi 9.81. Kasi pag 9.81, nakaano tayo? Nakakilo newtons per cubic meter. Ito naka newtons per cubic meter. So, hindi magkakansa ilan. Tama ba? So, ginawa natin parehas lang yung unit. Okay, tapos, hindi pa tayo tapos. Ha? Dito pa lang tayo. Dapat makarating tayo sa point 0.2. So, aakyat pa tayo ng y. And that is already air. So, wala na kailangang i-multiply. Okay? Tagaburay na natin yan. Durahin natin. Okay, tapos, minus y. At yon nakarating na tayo sa pressure sa may point 2. Okay? So, ayun. Ito yung uh, equation natin from the differential manometer. Okay? So, ayun na tayo. P sub 1 over gamma plus habulin natin tong ano to habulin natin tong P sub 1 gamma minus P sub 2 gamma 
yung uh, P sub 2, lipat natin dito sa kaliwa. So, minus P sub 2 over gamma. And everything else na nasa kaliwa, ilipat natin sa kanan. Okay? So, itong Y, at saka itong negative Y, nasa isang side lang naman yan eh. Plus Y, minus Y, so cancel, cancel. Yung 0 0.08 malilipat sa kabila. Okay? So, that's negative 0.08. Okay? Tapos, ito, pag nilipat po sa kabila, edi plus. Plus 0 0.08 times, ayan. Kung ano naman niyang, uh, teka, usun natin yung whiteboard, hindi kasha. Oh, hindi pa rin kasha. End of whiteboard na talaga. Wait, wait, wait. Negative 0 0.08 plus 0 0.08 Oh, sorry. 0 0.827 times 9810 divided by 12. Okay? So, ang uh, P sub 1 minus P sub 2 over gamma equals Parang ang laki niyan, no? <clears throat> Wait. So, that is, oh, teka. Uh, negative 0 0.08 tapos plus uh, 0 0.08 times 0 0.827 times 9810 divided by 12 so that is 54 54.0058 newtons of meters na to kasi pressure hindi yan meter meters okay so ayun pwede na nating i-substitute ito itong 54 doon sa dito so pwede nating sabihin na 54.0058 equals V sub 2 squared over 2G, and pwede na natin makompute kung ano talaga yung velocity. Okay? So, times 2G, 9.81, tapos square root. Okay? So, ang velocity ng fluid natin is, ang velocity ng air is 32.55 meters per second. Okay? That is our answer. Oh, hindi pa pala. Ang hinihingi sa atin ay discharge. Okay? So, tingnan natin ulit. Hindi ba ang dali lang? Ayan, 63.91 liters, liters per second. Hindi ba ang dali lang? Parang ang nangyari lang, uh, ginamit mo lang yung Bernoulli's energy equation and yung knowledge mo sa differential manometer to solve for the velocity. Tapos, multiply mo na lang sa Cross-sectional error. Tapos mali pala yung sagot natin. Ulit. A times area dun sa may... Siyempre, velocity yan dun sa may point 2. So, sa area natin dun sa point 2, i-multiply. So, pi over 4. Times uh, point zero five squared. So, that is... 63.91, 0 0.06391, that's cubic meters per second. Or if we multiply that to 1,000, then we have your answer. 63.91 liters per second as uh, confirmed doon sa ating problem. Okay? So, kung meron mang, uh, tawag dyan, Differential manometer, tapos hinaluan ng vent ng uh, venturing meter, ng uh, pit tube na concept. Ang tandaan mo lang is, kung ano yung point na nakaharap dun sa stream, stagnant ang tubig dun. Okay? Because the uh, fluid is being pushed inside the tube, and hindi gumagalaw yung fluid dun sa by stagnation point. Kaya nga stagnation point. Eh. Okay? So, yun yung dapat mo matutunan dito sa, uh, yung concept na dapat mo matandaan dito sa topic na to. Okay? Last example, we have another. So, example number three, carbon tetrachloride having a specific gravity as 1.6 is flowing through a pipe. The differential gauge attached, so differential manometer ulit ang gagamitin, to the pitot static tube 
shows a 100 millimeter, millimeter deflection of mercury. Find the velocity of the flow. Okay, so. Then. Okay. So we have fluid na carbon tetrachloride. Then we have mercury to the differential manometer. And we have the uh, another point of that manometer faced uh, against the uh, flow or faced towards the flow pala. So, yeah. And that is reasonable in deflection of mercury. That is reasonable kasi, tinan mo, the uh, mercury is being pushed harder to the right side. That confirms na yung uh, fluid mo enters this uh, pitot tube, right? That pushes the the mercury towards the left. Okay? So, kasi kung halimbawa, isipin mo, imagine, di ba, uh, the cross-section is, uh, the cross-section of the pipe is constant. That means, the discharge at point A and the another point B is uh, the same. Ibig sabihin, the velocity at point A, take us in the left. That's a whiteboard. We have to make the uh, problem na mas naiintindihan. So, eto. Ano ba ba? Ito yung, uh, ganito ba? O ba sa yan? Ano ba ito yung differential manometer? Kung ba ba, ganyan lang. Okay? And let's say this is point A. Let's say this is point B. Okay? Kaya may mercury dun sa loob. Alam natin ang velocity rito equal sa velocity rito. Tama ba? So, uh, neglecting losses, pwede natin sabihin that the pressure here is equal to the pressure here. Tama? So, yun. So, yung sabihin, kung ganito ang itsura ng manometer, <clears throat> dapat pantay lang yung uh, fluid mo dyan sa loob. Ibig sabihin, walang nananaig na side. Ibig sabihin, pantay lang ang laban. Ibig sabihin, points A and B is equally pushing o pushing equal amount of pressure towards the ends of the manometer. Kaya, pantay lang ang level dito. Pero, since yung ating uh, right end becomes a pitot tube in a way na humarap siya dun sa stream, ibig sabihin, sumagap ng additional force yung right end. Okay? Ibig sabihin, kung ang tumutulak dito sa point A sa left end ng manometer is just static pressure, dito ang tumutulak is static pressure plus yung na-convert na velocity head. Kaya mas malakas ngayon ang tulak dun sa kanan. Aba? That makes sense? So, ayun. Okay. So, let's solve. Ang hinahanap sa atin dun sa problem na yan is, the only given is that deflection, the uh, specific gravity of the fluids, and, uh, wala. Velocity lang hinahanap. Okay? Deflection. And we all know that the uh, specific gravity of mercury is 13.6. So, knowing those facts, knowing those data, solve natin yan. So, syempre, S equal 1.6. Our point B is the stagnation point where velocity is equal to 0. Okay? So, 13.6 and a deflection I think parang mas maganda na hindi ako na siguro this is 100 o 0.1 na lang pala parang nakameter na agad 0.1 meter okay so ayan pwede natin sabihin ka agad na magsimula tayo sa point A energy at point 1 is equal to sa energy at point 2 at point ay A pala sorry A tsaka B so, pressure head at point A, that is unknown. And we do not expect to solve that kasi differential yung binigay sa atin. Eh. So, malamang makakuha natin is P sub B minus P sub A. Mga ganun, or P sub B minus P sub B. Uh, plus V sub 1 squared over 2G, which is, that is what we are trying to solve. Elevation head, so wag na, kasi parehas na sila ng elevations. Uh, pressure sub B is also unknown. Okay? Because at yun, stagnation point. Okay? And velocity at that point is zero. Okay? So, and, ito lang bali. Okay? So, lipat na natin yung P sub A sa kabila. Pwede natin sabihin na V sub 1 squared over 2G 
equals p sub b over gamma minus p sub a over gamma. Tama? So, ayun. Then, um, wala na. Ayun lang. Next step is yung manometer na. Tapos, pagka na-compute mo na, magawa mo na lang tama yung manometer, tapos na yung problem. So, kapag ka mga ganyan nga problem, pagka practice kayo ng practice, mapansin nyo na, ay, parang ano lang pala, procedural, kailangan mo lang ma-practice yung uh, pagbabasa ng differential manometer, yung paggamit uh, ng Bernoulli's energy equation, and dali lang. Okay? So, magsimula tayo sa P sub A. Aakit tayo by some unknown value. Let's say from this point hanggang dito sa point na to, hang, eh, hanggang dyan, that is y. Okay? Aakit tayo ng y. So, minus y. That is still uh, carbon tetrachloride, so wala pang i-multiply dun sa y. Okay? Aakit pa tayo ng another 100 millimeters kasi diba, from this point hanggang dun sa point na to, that's 100 millimeters. Tama? So, minus another 0.1. And we don't have to use any multiplier kasi naan dito pa lang tayo. This is also uh, carbon tetrachloride. Kasi diba, carbon tetrachloride, pagakyat, carbon tetrachloride ulit, akyat ulit, still carbon tetrachloride. Tapos hindi pa tayo sa katapat na point. So naan dito na tayo. Tama? Eh, mercury na ang fluid dyan eh. Tapos bababa tayo. So plus. Okay? Pag uba mo ron, plus that's 0.1. Pero that is mercury. So that's 13.6. Specific gravity ng mercury divided by specific gravity ng original na fluid which is yung carbon tetrachloride so divide by 1.6. Tama? Tapos, naan na tayo. We don't have to go any further kasi pwede na tayo lumipat dun sa kabila. Okay? So, akit tayo ulit. So, that's minus. Okay? Minus y. Ah, sorry. Minus 0.1 pala. Mula rito hanggang dun. Okay? And we don't have to use any multiplier kasi that's already tar carbon tetrachloride. And from this point, di pa tayo sa point na to, baba tayo ulit by another point 0.1. At actually, from this point, pwede ka na lumipat dito eh. So, anyway, nagawa na natin. Magka-cancel lang. Tapos baba ka ulit ng y. So, plus y. Okay? And ayun. We have arrived doon sa ating destination na point B. Okay? Lipat mo na to sa kabila. And, i-gawin mo lang ito nasa kaliwa. So, cancel, 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 cancel. Ito lang, bali. <clears throat> so, that is 0 0.1. Ah, sorry, negative 0 0.1 pala. Negative. Ay, shucks. Mali. Negative 0 0.1 plus uh, ano yan? 0.1 times 13.6 divided by 1.6 that is 3.4 so 0 0.75 O yan na Diba? Napakadali Tapos pagkatapos mo na yan Itong 0.75 ay i-substitute mo na doon sa P sub B minus P sub A and meron ka na ang velocity. Ayan na. O, oh, diba? Tapos na. 0 0.75 times 2G. So, yun yung ating velocity. That is 3.84 meters per second. Ano ba sagot natin? May mali pala eh. 3.43. What? Bakit ganun? Ay, teka, teka, sandali. Wait. Bakit, mag bakit magkaiba? Sa given 100 millimeter, sa... Figure, oh, hindi ko napansin, 0.80. Kung 0.80 yan, try nga natin, may mamanipulate lang naman tayo iba sa ano, dito eh. So, kung 0.80 ito, this becomes point, this becomes 0.8, this also becomes 0.8. Subukan natin. Ano ba yan? 
Baka hassle naman. Ay na. Ako ata nagkamali dyan, sorry. Kamali akong type. Ay, 0.08 pala, sorry. 80mm. That is 3 over 5 or 0.6. Okay. Balikan natin yung equation kanina. Zero point six. Ada. Okay, that's three point. Oh, balik tanya tu naga. Point six yang kita ambil. Amali pula yang type ku sa problem. Eh, sebut nanti. Three point four to three. Gawin ni lang point zero eight ya tong mga tu. Kasi malih tu eh. Kalau ku one hundred millimeters, eighty millimeters pula. Well, anyway, that is our final na. Uh, example para sa uh, venturi o sa pitot tube. Okay? Na ginamit in combination with PEE and differential manometer. So, yeah, at least you get the concept of stagnation point and how it affects when the other point of the tube is facing towards the stream or facing against the stream. Okay? So, until the next video, next, uh, next lesson, I'll see you there.